in-person voting is officially open for the special election for District 4 County Supervisor. Seven voting centers opened over the weekend. The locations of those centers include Cuyamaca College, Encanto, VFW Post, North Park Rec Center, and the Columbus Club of San Diego. Junipero Serra Hall, North Claremont Rec Center, and Skyline Hills Branch Library are also included. So those are some in-person voting centers for that election. We are going to be speaking with all of the candidates throughout this week. Joining us today, is Reopen San Diego founder Amy Riker. Good morning, Amy. Good morning. Thanks for being here. I know we've talked to you a number of times, but we are getting closer to uh, Election Day officially here, August 15th. You are the candidate who ran against Nathan Fletcher, which is obviously, you know, with him stepping down, the reason why we're having this special election. Talk about some of the issues where you are opposed to Nathan Fletcher's policies. Which ones do you find the most egregious? Well, what we've seen in the past couple of years is actually a march towards more taxes, such as the mileage tax. And that's something that Nathan Fletcher did support. And my opponents in this race are even farther to the left than Nathan Fletcher. And they are calling for things like reparations, guaranteed universal income, and mileage tax. I am categorically against a mileage tax, and I will make sure that I will protect San Diegans from more taxes. I mean, that's, you know, something that Sandag has talked about. As far as, you know, the, the County Board of Supervisors, is there a policy that Nathan, Nathan Fletcher had supported or something that you would look to get rid of if you were elected to that District 4 seat? Well, again, it, the mileage tax is the alligator that's in the water right now. That is the one that is going to threaten the cost of living for every San Diegan in this county. It doesn't matter if you're not in District 4. This election is going to affect everyone that is a county resident. And what we've seen with Sandag is the executive director has resigned, thankfully, but we have to hold them accountable because Sandag wants to do a mileage tax and that will cost every single motorist $900 a year. So it's policies like that that Nathan Fletcher supported that will hurt San Diegans and I will do everything in my power to hold Sandag accountable and make sure that they don't get one more dime until they fix our roads. You know, the, the County Board of Supervisors has changed uh, over the years and, and now, uh, you know, kind of switched. You're the, one of the few Republicans running for that seat. Do you find areas where you would align with Jim Desmond and Joel Anderson? Absolutely. In fact, I'm the only endorsed Republican in this race and I've been endorsed by the California GOP as well. And the bottom line is, is people just want an affordable place to live, a safe place to live that they can enjoy with their friends and family. And that's not the San Diego that has been for the past few years under the control of people like Nathan Fletcher and people from his party. So it's time to bring back some balance. I've been having conversations with Democrats and they're saying, you know what, Amy, I haven't voted for a Republican since McGovern, but I'm voting for you because we need a change. So what do you find speaking with District 4 voters is the most pressing issue for them right now in voting? It's homelessness right now and the cost of living. And what we've seen over the past few years is the state needs to be held accountable. The state of California has spent billions on our homeless crisis and it's just become a humanitarian crisis. So we have to hold the state of California accountable. What my plan is, I, I don't just have criticisms for the state, I have a plan. A plan that I've been working with, with local mayors such as Bill Wells in El Cajon and Richard Bailey in Coronado and we need a regional response. We need a homeless triage center where people can go and get the help they need and then have the assistance of nonprofits who are already doing the hard work, but we need accountability. The root cause of homelessness is where we see serious crime, serious addiction, serious mental illness intersect. And so we have to hold people accountable who are committing serious crime who are also seriously mentally ill and also struggling with severe addiction. And so what my recommendation is, is shelter first with treatment and that treatment would be mandatory. Do you find any, 
you know, cross aisle issue. I mean, when you look at the county board of supervisors, it's been so split along party lines in the direction that it's heading with the county. Do you find any areas where you could collaborate with with Democrats that are on the board right now? Absolutely. When it co comes to the cost of living, another root cause is of homelessness is we need to be able to take better care of our domestic violence victims, our foster care youth who are aging out of the system. One in four are experiencing homelessness. We need to take better care of our elderly, our disabled, and our veterans. These are all issues that we can come together and work on. In fact, what I have really found is there are so many serious issues that are facing San Diego right now. They're not partisan. We all agree that the status quo is failing. It just may be a different approach on how to solve them, but I am someone that will bring people together. I won't divide people like Nathan Fletcher did, and we'll get these issues solved once and for all. So now with a week left in this campaign, what are you doing in this final push to bring in voters? I am working so hard and so is my campaign team. Our, I'm just working with my whole heart, soul and mind. I am leaving nothing on the field. We have over 250 volunteers. We have knocked on over 10,000 doors. We have made over 6,000 phone calls. And I've raised over a quarter of a million dollars so far for this race to get out the vote. So I'm just encouraging everyone who's listening to KOSI right now and watching, please look up your vote center today and get out and vote. Or if you've got a mail ballot at home, just pop it in the mail and make your vote count. All right, Amy Reichert, thank you so much for the time this morning. Appreciate it. Thank you. And as we mentioned, candidates for the race include Amy Reichert, as we just spoke with, San Diego City Council Member Monica Montgomery Stepp, Marine Veteran and CEO of Vet Voice Foundation, Janessa Goldbeck, and Marine Veteran Paul McQuig. We are having uh, all of them in this week, so be sure to stay to tuned to KUSI. Uh, it should be in our 7 o'clock hour that we'll be speaking with the rest of the candidates. Well,